Welcome to Morning Mobility. Guys, for today, you only need a mat, okay? Maybe for a couple exercises or at least one, you might need um, something to hold on, but actually you would be fine. So what you can do is you can lay down. I'm just gonna take this here. Otherwise, I don't see my exercises. Okay, we're gonna go for the first one. You're gonna sit on your heels, elbows on the ground, hand palms up. We're going to inhale in our upper back and the lower back while pushing the elbows in the ground, okay? Then we exhale and we squeeze the abs really hard. Let's go. between your hands. Try to expand your ribs when you breathe in. One more. Perfect. That was number one. Our next position is one on the knee, one leg is fully extended, one hand down. We're going to reach towards the toes and then we're going to rotate towards the other side. Okay, let's go. We go for five reps. One, two, nice and slowly. Try to go as far as you can. Three, you'll feel a stretch right here. Four, five, let's do one more, huh? six, perfect, switch, same thing, reaching towards your toes, rotating the other way, one, two, three, four, two more, six okay that was number two number three is my favorite you will go in the 90 position in the knees 90 here as well we're going to open up this knee keeping this down as long as we can now it comes through and I'm rotating a little bit towards the other side making sure guys the head and the pelvis is right over each other Open, open, close, close. Slowly and controlled, feel those hips working, especially after sitting for some time. This is an amazing exercise. It's actually good if you would do this daily. Okay, we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult. We're going to reach forward, okay? We're not reaching like this. We're reaching like this, chest is up, and then we're trying to decrease the distance of this here. Not here, here. Two more. Last one. Perfect. Okay, so we go in the half kneeling position. This is to stretch the hip flexors, but we're also going to activate the lower body muscles. So, if my right leg is forward here, I will turn to the right. Okay? This needs to be always straight through. Super important. My knee, one line here. Okay? I'm going to go up, reach, go back down. I'm going to go six left, six right. Ready? Let's go up, reach, and down. Reach, and down. Two, three, right here. Hip flexor stretch, four, five, six. One, 
two, three, four, five, and six. A little small burn, always good. Okay, now it's your choice. If you have a chair or a wall, you can also go without. Um, I'm going to put this below my knees. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go open up, put the heel down or the foot down, and then we're going to go the other way, okay? So I'm first holding, my ankle comes through, and then I step forward, okay? We're going to go six each side. Let's go. Open, so if you need something for a little bit support, you can use that. Two. Three, four, two more, five, and six. And we're gonna switch the size, same thing. Let's go. Three, last one, perfect, you can put the stuff away, next position is the plank, from here we're going to go down dog, now we're going to go one, two, three, four, back to the plank. Five reps in total, okay? Let's go down dog, butt in the air, one, two, three, four, back to the plank, down dog, one, two, three, four, plank, butt in the air, one, two, three, four, Perfect, two more. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. We take a step forward with one leg. World's greatest. Hand here, back leg extended, elbow, rotate, and extend. Okay, five each. Let's go. Elbow first to the ankle, hold. I'm gonna rotate, look at your hand, and then we're gonna extend. Elbow, rotate, extend. Number three, two more. Side and then we'll switch. Same thing. Elbow rotate. Look at your hand. Extend. Try to keep your back leg almost fully extended if you can. Two. Three. Four. Put your foot on the other side and then you can stand up. Okay, we have two more stretches and then we're going to uh, do some breathing for our recovery or just to get ready for the, for the, for the rest of the day. Okay, so we have an inverted hamstring stretch. We're going to go here and then we're standing back up. I want you to do six reps. We're gonna do four reps with the eyes open, two reps we're trying to do with the eyes closed. Okay, make sure you try to make yourself as tall as you can. Okay. 
Let's go. Touch your bingy toe. Stand back up. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Eyes closed. Slowly. One. You need to push your foot down, push your foot down. That's completely fine. Boom. Yes. Switch legs. Four open. Four eyes. Uh, two eyes closed. Three, four, eyes closed, five, and six. Perfect. Okay, guys, next stretch is we're going to move our. Um, Upper back with the low back, okay? Now one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly. We're going to try to lateral shift these two from each other, okay? Then we'll do the neck, and then like I said, those were the stretches. We'll do the two activations just to make sure we are ready to go, and then we're done, okay? So one hand on the chest, one on the belly. We're gonna go for 10 on each side. So you wanna, the hands, they're actually going away from each other. Okay, 10 each side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Good, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Perfect, so it's good to do this stuff and this stuff, but we also cannot forget, we also have this plane of movement, okay? We of course need to make sure we always move in all three planes because this is how the human body walks, it runs, it kicks, it punches to make sure everything is moving as one piece, okay? Now, our exercises we will do, we have one is the DNF star, you probably will know. The other one is a scapular push-up. Why? Because those scaps, they also need some movement, especially when we're behind the computer all day. And the DNF star is for the hips, to make sure also we can stretch a little bit the front after sitting for some time, okay? So I'm gonna do one set with you, and I want you to do three in total. So, DNS star, we will start shoulder, knee, one line. If I go from this view, one line, okay? Now I'm bending my butt towards the ground while I'm rotating my upper back. Boom. Up. The top leg here, you can extend if you want to, but the goal of the exercise is to kiss the ground with the butt right here, okay? Five reps. Three. Try to rotate as far as you can. Four. Five. Switch. One. Two, three, four, and five. Whew. Shake it out. So it's not because it's mobility, you cannot sweat or you cannot feel your muscles work. That's super important that you know it's not just stretching. You need to move in range of motions of the joints and this helps or this activates a lot of muscle 
muscular structures as well. So, hand palms open, like in the first exercise, toes back, we're going to sink in, and we're going to push out. Now, I want you to use some of the breathing, okay? When we go up, I want you to breathe out all the air you have, squeezing the ribs down. When we go down, inhale, okay? So, inhale, exhale. Also five reps. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Okay, guys. So, do this one for two more rounds, um, and then you're ready, you're active, and what we're gonna do for the end, so you can pause the video right now, we will do just a couple breathing exercises, just one actually, um, to make sure you're ready for the rest of the day. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some box breathing. So four seconds inhale, four second hold, four second exhale, four second hold. What you can do is you can lay down on your back. What I'm gonna do as well, I'll be your timer. So you just need to listen to me. And then we're trying to, of course, when we inhale, inhale where the ribs go, towards the ceiling, sideways, and towards the ground, okay? So take your time. It's like a box, four in, four hold, four out, four hold, okay? Get ready. And we start inhaling, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, you can continue. I'm just going to explain you real quick why this is an important and very powerful breathing method. So the box breathing is actually used to increase your focus. Um, it will also decrease your stress level. So for example, if you have a big presentation, um, if you have a meeting and you want, to be, you want to be there, this is a very, very easy way to actually get the focus up and get the stress levels down. Okay, that's it for me. From my side, um, I wish you an amazing day and we will speak soon. Bye-bye.